Hello traders, good evening. Today uh, it's the 20th of December 2019. It's a Friday evening around 8.56 p.m. post dinner. I am making this quick video and I thought that um, next week is Christmas. It's, it's that time of the year when everyone is, um, is in a relaxed holiday parting mood and uh, in my experience, when I was part of the broking industry uh, back in Mumbai, I definitely observed that the market behavior, volume, participation, volatility are generally on the lower side in the last few days of the trade of any calendar year. Uh, primarily, this is because of the fact that the foreign institutional investors, uh, which uh, lead to uh, which are you know which contributes a pretty good uh, quantity volume uh, volatility in the market they are on a on a leave on a holiday and that's why their lack of participation reflects in the um, dull behavior of price um, so what can we expect uh, the range of the nifty next week so can we take a look at the past behavior of nifty and uh, ask the question to the index itself so let me try and together let's all of us give it an attempt i have used the iris plus software i am on the nifty daily chart and if i roll all the way back i have data all the way close to mid 2004 now the objective is to figure out what can i expect in the next Monday to Friday, what kind of range we can expect. So I come to average true range, which should do a decent job in terms of uh, identifying the range over a five day period. And I've plotted on the daily chart and I'll say that save price study values to CSV and I'm gonna give it a path. So I'll save it here, it's saved as nifty. Now I use, um, I use uh, Windows on my MacBook, so it's going to be a little different for me to fetch this file. So first I'm going to come here and I'm going to copy it nifty. So 20th 12th, yes, this is the one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it on, let's say, my personal folder on my MacBook. I close it and then I come to my MacBook folder. It's getting copied, it's done. I come to uh, here, sorry, should be here. Yeah, nifty. Dot CSV, I'm gonna open it with Excel. There you go, let's hide this. And we have the data right in front of us. So price, open, high, low, close, QTY, value, trades, and five period ATR. Open, high, low, close. Let's keep the close. The rest three can go value trades qty uh, let's keep it for the time being we are more interested in this atr5 and now what we have is from 2003 that's nice so we're gonna look at the it's nine o'clock thank you siri that's my uh, laptop giving me an update on the time uh, always uh, useful for me so 2003 uh, we would like to see um, what was the last week. So try it here. Can I come to um, format cells and can I give it, so it's a Monday. And if I format it, copy format it, that is format the copy. So it's giving me the days, right? Saturday, okay, the Saturday was a trading day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, that's nice. So all that we can do is rather than doing it that way, we just um, get our Excel sheet with the days itself. So that's going to help us. It's going to take a little bit of time. You be with me. Um, what we are going to do is find out Monday to Friday, which was the Christmas week. And then we will try and figure out what was your range. So let me work on this a little bit, working on 
Excel for some time. So we are going to December. And there you go. In fact, this whole thing can go. Delete. So we are looking at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday maybe was a uh, that's of course was Christmas, and this is what we got for 2003. Same thing. We are going to do this now for 2004. So sorry, We've gone all the way up. 2003 is behind us. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday now go all the way down so we've covered covered feb march april go down all the way down till december so what i'm going to do is rather than boring you with this uh, homework this this work that i'm doing i'm going to quickly do this and come back to you with the final results on the excel sheet so give me a couple of minutes time once i'm done with this so i'm just going to do 2004 in front of you so December 20th, right? There you go. So this is all deleted. And I bring in the entire data up here. And there you go. This is 2004, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And all this way, I'm going to quickly figure out this information and come back to you once this work on Excel sheet is done. So stay with me. All right, so I've got the work done and on my left hand side, I have got all the years from 2003 down to 2018. I've kept the closing price and I've got the uh, ATR. Now over here, I've got the years, got the average price, which is the average price of the last those four days or five days of trading in those days. And then I have, sorry, this is the average range. I'm very sorry the ATR range and then the average price which is the average of these closing prices and then finally I've got the ratio this ratio is nothing but I need to understand that if it's a 30 point range then the 30 point range is on a nifty of what value so 30 point range on a 1800 and if you look at a 55 point range on a 5000 nifty of course it has a it has to be considered certain amount of ratio and that's why I have taken the ratio and now the million dollar question is if i put here 2019 and if i put the average price now average price let's say for example if i if i put 12271 was the close so let's say 12250 is the average price that we get at the end of next friday then question mark what will be the range that i'm looking for next week uh, this is of course not uh, not 100% accurate. I'm just guesswork here based on the past behavior of the market. So post 2016, we see that the Nifty has added a new digit to itself and it's gone to uh, the levels of 10,000 and above. And if I look at the average ratio uh, of the last two years, then I find down here the average to be around uh, 0 0.0139, so 0 0.014. If I uh, go back, let's say from 2010, not going too much uh, in the past, I more or less see that the ratio stays at 0 0.0135. So let's say 0 0.014. So considering that 0 0.014, and if we give this the same ratio, considering a little bit here and there, if I give it to the expected average price of 12,250 next week, the range we're looking at for the next week is 171 points so close to 170 points of range we are expecting from the nifty next week um, we are trading at 12271 we've got a spinning top on the japanese candlestick charts it's moved quite a bit so we can expect that the market to consolidate and the range that we are on average range over the last five days it does not mean that it's going to stay within 170 uh, 70 points but the range that we are expecting over the next four days um, is close to 170 points for the nifty so let's see how it plays off i'm going to save this sheet and uh, next thursday or um, next after next friday i can make a follow-up video on this 
just to check uh, how close we were uh, to our anticipated range. All right. Till then, I wish you uh, Merry Christmas, uh, the best of your health and wealth uh, as we come towards the end of uh, another amazing year. Uh, till then, all the traders, please trade well, trade wise, live well and also live wise. Thank you.